Hi, my name is Dave. My name is Tara. We're the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. And we make videos about Poshmark and thrifting and what's sold and unboxings and always have wine. We're continuing a bottle of this Barefoot Sauvignon Blanc, Dave's favorite kind of wine. We are doing what's sold from January 1st through 14th. This is a weird set of days for us. We usually do half a month at a time. But I'm doing an experiment on ways to increase your Poshmark sales. And I'm doing like weeks. So this is going along with that. So this is two weeks worth of what's sold. Go ahead and watch that other video if you're interested in how to increase your Poshmark sales. The first week where I was trying out the method of following hosts of parties and their followers, I got more sales. And the second week where I didn't do that, I did not get as many sales. So it kind of worked. But go watch that video if you want to see what I'm talking about. I'm just oh. here to click stuff. for the clicks. But we're going to go over every item, how much we paid for it, approximately how long it was listed, if we'd buy it again, if we can remember. Dave has to ignore his text messages. So we're going to screen share all of the items. If Dave can hit the button. Infinite loop. It says it every time. Okay. Oh, here we are. So January 1st through 15th, starting off the year. I don't need this paper in front of me. I don't know why I'm messing with it. Mess with the paper Sorry. some more. You can click on the items and stuff, or you want to read, or what do you want to do? Oh, I'll just click. Under Armour Men's Zip Front Fleece Line Jacket. I had had that listed for a while, I believe. And I'll remember the date when we go back. But it was purchased where? Do we remember where? This may have been at a yard sale. If so, it was a couple dollars. No it also may have been dollar day. I think it's been listed a while because I've forgotten. But What's the, uh, there we go. It was listed in September. Uh, that'd be probably about the middle to, of September. So it took over three months to sell. And I got a, I got a rating on my phone. Uh, and I'd probably buy that again for cheap enough. Sold for twenty dollars. Close it. You can close it. Yes. Boom. Ne next, we have a crew cuts navy blue dog print corduroy pants. We got those at the mega yard sale. I remember this is the only kids item I bought at that sale. But you need to scroll down a little so you can see. <laughs> Click on one of the other pictures that has the print <clears throat> bigger. It has little tiny dogs on it. That's so why I got dumb. it. And it had been listed for a while, and I knew it wasn't going to sell for a ton. Uh, but we did make our money back. We spent $2 on it. You're going to read your text message. <laughs> just, making sure it's not, just making sure it's not an emergency. Okay. Gosh. This was my own shirt. Volkswagen emblem, logo graphic t-shirt. I bought it at, I think, my local Goodwill, So, and I think I paid full price. My dad had Volkswagens. He had Volkswagen Bugs and a van. We always had three or four at once, so that's why I bought the shirt, but it was a little too high on my neck. And then she married a man that doesn't fit in a Volkswagen. You can fit in a van. Uh, but I, I paid $4 van. for it, wore it a few times, made she my money back. the van. You could fit in a van. Maybe. Athleta Black North Peak Cargo Workout Pants. I found two pairs of these at my Goodwill in my town. I paid full price for them, which was $4. This one is the last one. It took longer to sell. It was listed in October. But both of them sold for full asking price. So that may be a style to watch out for, the cargo pants. Were they like hiking pants or something? They're like the pants I wear all the time. All okay. right. Cargo. I mean, you could wear them hiking for hiking, pants. yeah. But they weren't necessarily for hiking. St. John Black Silky Satin Formal Dress Pants. I got those at the Muncie, Indiana Goodwill for about $4. Well, I think I took these pictures. You might have. They sold pretty quickly for fifty dollars. I had them listed for sixty. I took fifty that bucks 50. for those. Saint John is a very high that's, end brand. That's nice. I was Saint happy. John, but not Saint John's Bay, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a very cheap brand. Because I see Saint John's Bay everywhere. 
Oh my gosh. This these text <clears throat> messages need to stop, dude. I turned the phone off. And it's his niece. <laughs> it's my niece. Victoria's Secret black satin lined demi bra. Can't remember if I got that. I think this was at the outlet. I think it was. Or it was my own. What's the size? 38D? Might, yep. might have been my own. And then I didn't wear it. I do not remember. But scroll down and let me see if the date's on there. You're going to have to, like, not click the things as, I as click, fast. I can click whatever I Hit want. Hit the back button. This? That is correct. Oh, it doesn't have it there. I must have not gotten an inventory. Oh. But just wait until I can see on the screen. Why don't screen. you click I'll read? No, go ahead. No, you but go ahead. I, Victoria's Secret, I don't buy all of anymore. It has to be very cheap. That's what I do when we're in the car, and she tries to tell me I'm doing horrible. I'm like, why don't you just drive, and I'll pull over. You know how I do that? You say that, but you don't pull over. <laughs> okay, see, just wait till I can see this. This was listed in September. I know that. Now you can click the picture. Westport, Permission to click. Westport rib sweater dress, infinity scarf. My mom bought this to sell. I do not know the brand Westport. I don't know where it's sold. Uh, but Ribbed it was a full price sale. For her pleasure. And oh my gosh. It took a little <laughs> over three months. And she was very happy with it, I think. I don't think I'd buy that myself. But if you've got some of those in your own closet, they might sell. I don't know. I don't know why some things sell, some things don't. All right. This I did not get inventory. That's how fast it sold. Permission Although I am way behind on my inventory, not because I'm lazy, but because I don't have any room. So Sundance Ivory Cotton I remember this. Lace Boho Peasant Top. I would buy this again. I believe I paid full price for it at my local Goodwill, which would be four dollars. It reminds I, me of doilies. Yes. I buy all the Sundance I find, and it all eventually sells. Sundance, but it's cool. good brand. It's cool. Yeah. Doilies are cool. Bear Traps, Black Suede, Bow Fur Lined Boots. Those were listed in October. You can Permission click. to click. Permission granted. Listed in October. Thank you. My mom brought these to me to sell, and I have never tried to sell Bear Traps. I've heard they're pretty good. These were a little worn. You could see from the close-ups. They weren't in, like, new condition or anything. Hey, show this uh, description. I'm going to give it a tip here. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> See the description. Right here where it says, talks about the calf circumference. From a girl who has problems with boots fitting. If you have tall boots or wide calf boots, put that measurement in there. Because that is something people will look for. Because I know if, if I wanted to buy boots that go over my calves, I know how big my calves are, and I know if the measurement will fit me. So put that in your listings, just a hint. <coughs> we can close that now. Next we have Jack Rogers Tucker Multi-Stripe Slip-On Sneakers. These were... Let me click. Yeah, these were listed at the end of December, maybe the middle of December. These I found at my local Goodwill. First time I've ever found Jack Rogers, and I'm pretty sure they were brand new uh, because they the toes were stuffed with that paper, and they have no wear on them at all. They look new. And they sold pretty quickly for 35 I think that was an offer. I think I had them listed for 40 but that's a great offer. So I will continue to watch out for Jack Rogers. First time I found it. Got this at the Benz, listed it in December. Victoria's Secret Lowback. Bustier Nude Neutral. This, did it have the tag? Was this the new tag one? Nope, gently used. There was one I was going to buy. It was new with tags, but it had crap all over it from the band. Crap? <laughs> Literal, no. I don't know what it was, but it was dirty, and I didn't want to wash it. Uh, but, yeah, we got that at the bins, and it sold in under a month. If you can get those cheap enough, I would buy them. They, they don't seem heavy. It it was a little heavy because it it had the it, boning in it. Oh, the ribbing? Boning. The boning. Yes. <laughs> I hate saying that word in front of Dave because... Boning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pacerico 
This was listed in November. I got that. Cerco Tricot Wool Silk Gray V-neck Sweater. This was a shot in the dark. I saw it at the attic window thrift store in our little town, and I looked at the tag, and it was, as you can see here, made in Italy, and it was wool and silk. So those are good indicators that it's a good brand. It's not a popular brand, but it was very high quality, and I love these little tiny beads. I like the, yeah, I was going to say, I like the design. It's, like, simple, but. So it was listed for a little while, so that would have been two months, but it was a full-price sale. 30 bucks. That was, so maybe that's a, a brand again. to watch out for, but it's not really popular, but it was it was very nice quality. Do it again. Athleta Twist Front Bikini Top Black Swimsuit. Twist Front? Twist Front. That's the name of it, and it had a twist in the front. It was aptly named. Imagine. Oh, there's the twist <laughs> in the front. This was purchased at the Muncie Goodwill for... Muncie. I think it would have been about $1.80 after discounts. And it sold very fast. Maybe the same day I listed it. At least within a couple <clears throat> days. Athletic swimsuits. I have purchased three swimsuit tops and one bathing suit. And... I have only one left, one top left. They they all have sold. So the swimsuits, especially of, of Athleta, I would purchase again, definitely. Coach Frederica Leather Loafers Flats Cream. These were listed in the end of November. These are from our first Thread Up Shoe Unboxing. Oh, I remember these. They were on my team. We're about to do another unboxing. Oh, yeah. We got a box of shoes an right An hour here. and a half. Live. Live. You will have already seen it if you watched. <laughs> Live, y'all. Uh, but these were in that box, and I think they were listed for 30 and this was an offer to Likers. I would buy these again. They were very nice quality. Coach, can't go wrong with that. I don't buy the Coach with the C print on them. She despises that print I like print the classic look. She likes the classic I don't know. Look. It She's just It's old. It looks old. She's a classic lady. These were probably a bad buy, but I ended up making my money back. Getting more notifications. I got an offer on a dress. Ooh. Uh, these you were. You take it? I'm not sure. Vionic Hydro Blue She's Slip On sure. Sneaker Shoes. These are probably the lowest comps on Vionic I've ever seen, but <laughs> I didn't know that until after I bought them. But I did pay five dollars for them. They took a few months to sell. But maybe don't buy the sneakers so much. I, I'm not sure. Sasina tie sleeve utility trench hooded jacket. This utility was at the bins. Trench? It was the name of it. I found the name of it. Sounds like. We got it at the bins and it was fun. not listed very long. And I got this offer and I took it. It was actually $25 listing price, but for a quick sale, look it how wasn't much, bad. Look how much better. The stock photo is then that. That's why I use stock photos. Yeah, it for sure. Be, this is a prime example. Look it how may much be illegal, better. and we may go to jail for it later. But Psh. if I think it's go to jail, <laughs> I want to see how it looks on a real human, not on the floor. How I'm are not, we going to go to jail for that? I just want to. I know. don't think people go to jail unless they're made like an example of. You know, Psh, that would Which, be me. That would be me. Vintage Prairie Maxi Dress Stagecoach Print. This was my mom's. Listed in middle of October. It had lots and lots of likes. Carriages. I relisted it once, but I knew somebody would come along and buy it. I had it listed for $75, but I took the $45 offer, and she really loved it. It's the queen's carriage. It needs the right person. There's certain <clears throat> things that just need the right yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But I would buy that again. Definitely. Unique. And prairie dresses are in. That's what my offer was on. Is prairie prairie dress. dresses? Kalia Carrie Underwood black two-in-one running shorts. You clicked it too fast. <laughs> I don't think I got it inventoried even. Okay. I had this stored away for to pull out in, you know, January or December for when everybody starts exercising again. And I don't remember where I got them. But they were large, and they were nice quality, and I'd buy them again for cheap enough. 
They sold fast after I listed them. Oh, it's a... This may be our only bundle. It's not the your, bundle. Not your daughter's jeans, Barbara boot cut. Got at the bins, I do remember. They weren't listed for very long. And the other thing was a Fair Isle sweater that I think I also got at the bins. Should I go back? Go back. Fair Isle. I don't even remember if it had... It did have a tag in it, but I don't remember what brand it was. It's I think the it was, red, blue, cream sweater. <laughs> It was vintage, but it was cool print. And let me see if I can find that vintage tag. There it is. That's the Westchester Classics. Oh, yeah. Westchesterdenville. <laughs> so I think I got both of those at the Benz. And one was listed since December. Oh, both December. And the bundle sold for $30. Where your Westchester buy those Classic again. to the Catalina Wine Mixer. Okay. Okay. This this one. Polar Edge. This was given to us by Dave's aunt, it's who okay. got it from Dave's other aunt, uh -oh. who got it from Goodwill. We're going to get in trouble. So it was free inventory, and it was a full price sale. I didn't think it was going to sell. It had been listed for a while. Bucks. But the kicker on this one was when I woke up, and to uh, she had left me a rating, not a five-star rating, and her rating was calling me dishonest, and she said she's going to send it back to me. And it, this was an error on my part, but I was not given a chance to fix it. She didn't open a case. It was given to me by an aunt from another aunt, so I thought it was women's, and now I can see it says men's. Ooh. If she would have opened the case, I would have said, yes, you're right. Send it back. Get your money back. Accident. But she just left me the scathing review, calling me dishonest. Doesn't know. She has to jump through impossible hoops. Actually, it says jump throw impossible hoops. <laughs> so. Uh, the old jump throw I from center field. I, and she, I, I don't know. I don't want to go into it more. It's it's not that big a deal. I would have fixed it if she'd let me. I want me. you to go into it more. I she want to hear seems, more about it. She seems like the kind of crazy that if I tried to contact her to say, I'll help you fix this, that it would take over my life for a few days. Let's not do that. So I just I just left it. Oh, this is another thing I got the same day as that wool silk sweater with the little beading. Don't jump throw hoops. I won't jump throw hoops. This was the same day, same thrift store. This was a Scotland purple cashmere sweater. But look at the detail on the sweater. It, I'm clicking. It has these little, is this like holly? I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. But it was 100% cashmere, made in Scotland. So I bought it, hoping it would sell, and it sure did, $35. I think it was another full price sale. Nice. So Cashmere's. I try to buy the stuff that's nice quality, even if it's not a brand, and just hope it sells. 100% pure cashmere. Cabby oh, Harlequin. Hit, hit it too fast. It wasn't know. listed long enough. I know. I remember pulling it out of the pile of stuff I needed to inventory. I can't even click right. Cabby Harlequin purple black diamond dress. Bought that in Muncie, so it would have been... I, Three fifty or seven dollars. I don't remember if it was half off that day, uh, but I had looked it up. Saw it was large. Saw there were no other size larges for sale, and so I bought it. I don't buy all cabbie, even if it's new tag, because some of it will you'll look and there'll be twenty of them for sale in that size. So those are the ones I skip. But I I bought this one and it sold really fast. You'd do that again. Yes, I would. Guaranteed. Vintage Carlisle Turquoise Silk Bomber Jacket. I know I got this at 99 cent day at our Newcastle Goodwill. And oh, wow. it has shoulder pads. It has gold buttons. It was 100% silk. It was very unique. Needed the right buyer. Yeah. It did take a little while to sell. Uh, Somebody's not wearing that. They are rocking that. She thing. says she loves it. I guarantee it. It had been does. listed since November, so it's getting ready to be relisted. But um, I take a chance on that stuff for 99 cents. Sometimes it pays off. Sometimes I end up redonating it. But in the long run, I make profit. So we'll go on hate to the runs. Birkenstocks. <laughs> these were listed in December. We got these at the bins. They were rough. These are the ones that had cobwebs inside the shoes. They weren't rusted, though. 
We've seen no, rusted. not rusted, but they but they were rough. I mean, you can see the the toes have wear, the bottoms had wear. Yeah. But I know Birkenstocks will sell, and they sure did. Eighteen dollars, and at the bins prices, they probably were under two dollars. I like it. I like the quick guaranteed sales. Some things are just you know they're gonna sell. New with tags is my favorite. This took forever. It but when seemed. you get with tags, it's like you got to do it. So this was listed in September. I got it at one of my local Goodwills. I don't remember what town it was in. It was close by. And I saw the new with tags cloth and stone, and I was so excited. And then I got it home, and it had a rip and a stain. So a I, rip and a stain? Yeah. So I sewed up the, the rip. And you can see, I think, right there, the sewing. And I washed it, and most of the staining came out. And I have a tag gun, so I reattached the tags. Oh, that's where that tag gun came in handy. So maybe I didn't stain treat it. I don't remember if I washed it. I know I sewed it. I don't remember if I washed it. But I had it listed for 100 had no bites, and got the $60 offer and was happy to take that. I only paid $7 for it. So that was a good profit, but it did take a while. That cloth and stone and anthropology stuff is just not quick sometimes. MG Sage Green Angel Sleeve Embroidered Dress. This was at the attic window in Newcastle. I think I paid four, $5 for it. We went there today. We did. I didn't get a darn thing. I got Except toothpicks. Six books. Toothpicks sealed in the container. This was listed since November, and I like the style. I don't buy all MG. I buy MG if it's unique. You buy a lot of MG. Yeah, but I don't buy all of it. This was plus size, and it was unique, and it was in pretty much new condition. And so I thought it would sell faster than this, but still, I made a profit. It sold for $20. Harley Davidson shirt given by my mom. I listed this in November. This one, I'm not selling Harley Davidson shirts as fast as I used to. I used to sell them almost right away. This one took well, guess a couple what? months. Harley Davidson's don't sell as much during this time of year either. So it's like, I think. Once springtime hits. Oh, you think they're going to want their shirts to go on the bike? Yes. Okay. I didn't think about that. Yes, I do. This one was kind of unique. The back had a crisscross. Uh, there, you can see kind of crisscross straps. Had these weird sleeves. This is the right time of year to buy a cheap Harley. I'm not buying any Harleys, Dave. Me neither. So, sold for $15. If it's cheap enough, I do buy it myself, but I hardly ever see it cheap. 511 Tactical. Always sells. This this was a case of why you counter offer your offers. I have a thing in my closet that I will never decline your offer. I will always counter offer or accept. So this person asked me a question about the pants, and I answered. And then and they were listed for $30, and then he offered me $7. Oh, wow. And I was not having that, so I countered. He didn't. He didn't respond to that one, but a couple days later, he offered me 20 and that was much more reasonable, and they'd only been listed for under a week, so I took that. How much do those pants cost new? I don't know. I've never bought any. I've never seen them in a store. I, I bet 20 bucks is probably a bargain. Oh, it was definitely a bargain because they were in really good shape, but I... I'm not storing things. I'm selling things. Oh, my gosh. Just what show, is this? Just show the pictures. You don't have to click them all. This, what is this? This girl bundled six things. Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah. So a pink rose soft sweater. My mom gave me that. Listed since November. Hayden Seafoam Green Crochet Blouse. I think that's a boutique brand, but I'd never heard of it. My mom gave that to me also. Also listed since November. This soft layer look pinstripe hem top. I bought that to wear myself. I bought it at the bins and it didn't look right. Listed since September. North Face hoodie. Believe I got that at the bins also. We get a lot of those at the bins. Listed since July. Lululemon Swiftly Tank that actually had a very faint stain on it. Listed in December. And another UMG 
but not a very popular style. Had like no likes on it. Listed since October. So I sent her an offer of $90 with free shipping on all that stuff. And she accepted. Four of those had been relisted at least once. So I was I was happy to move all that stuff on. Good deal. Good deal. We won't click on all those. Okay, Franco Sarto brown leather strappy sandals. Strappy. I think I got these at a Goodwill, maybe on half off day, and they were size 12. No, we got them at the bins. We got them at the bins, and they were size 12. And they sold the day I listed them. I had them for 20, and I got a $14 offer right away and accepted. Move that on out in the world. Look at those pasty white feet. Somebody needs to see the sun. I, and look at our janky box <laughs> that we take pictures in. It's we need right. to do something to cover up those little black spots. You need to buy that light I bought box. it off Amazon, and it's just not It's pretty much not garbage. great. Epic Mickey unisex wig mouse ears graphic tee. I had relisted this for the second time. I got it at my Goodwill for a dollar or two, and I thought it was kind of unique and would sell, and it took a while. Uh, I had it listed for 20 and accepted a $15 offer. I would not buy that again, probably. Sorry, Mickey. Fantastic Fawn Waffle Knit Cropped Oversized Tee. I thought this was a good brand, and I realize now it's not anything special. But I did get it sold within a couple weeks for $10, and I only paid $0.99 cents for it. So not really recommending that brand. It's cute style, but I don't <clears throat> think it's it's anything to watch out for. Moving on. These are hard to take pictures of. Everything's hard to take pictures of. I know. I, like, I think I took these, and I'm like, man, that's just... Sorry, guys. I think I did it. Don't worry. Oof. Kenneth Cole denim chambray button front shirt. I think I got this at the bins. I was taking a chance on it. It was very nice, uh, but it had been relisted a couple times. But the second time I relisted it, I got an offer almost right away. Or it was an offer to Likers. Don't remember, but it was right after I relisted it. Relisting works. Would you do it again? I would relist again, yes. Sorry, I just... So, the first full bathing suit I sold of the year. I listed all the bathing suits I had. I pulled them out for all the spring breakers and vacationers, and so they're ready to go whenever, whenever anybody needs one. Spring breakers. Miracle Suit Blue Rialto Tummy Control Bathing Suit. Very nice quality. I'm sure I paid like $2 for it at my Goodwill, because that's how much swimsuits are. That's why I buy all the nice ones I see. Wasn't, wasn't even inventoried. $23. Yes, I'd buy that again. Wish they made men's tummy control. But you guys you guys put your suit under I'm, your tummy. I'm just kidding. You're going to wear a shirt? You're going to wear a swim shirt? I'm just kidding. No. Heck no. <laughs> this was from the bins listed <laughs> at the end of December. Just a pink Victoria's Secret uh, top. And it sold for $13. I, I don't know that I'd buy those again because um, it's a lot of work for $13, but they sell. I don't know. Depends on how desperate you are to make so sales. Lands in brown leather ballet flats wide. This was in our last uh, thread up box also. They were scuffed. Took pictures of all the scuffs and such, but they were a 8 H. And we talked about that in the video. I don't know what H means. It Extremely must mean large. wide. Uh, they were listed for 15 I got the $10 offer. So that made a profit. And let's see. Le Mystere or Mystere. High Impact Sports Bra. Green, gray, stripe. High Impact. I think I got that at half off day at Goodwill. So it would have been $2. That's for like rough chicks. High impact. For people that do high impact sports. Like. Not rough chicks. Rugby. That's It rough. was listed at 20 and I got a $14 offer and took it. That'd be rough. What? Rugby? Yeah. Yeah. Last one of this two weeks. Sam Edelman, brown, tan, Felicia ballet flats. Felicia's oh, the name. They put oh, the name. They put the name in the shoes of <laughs> Sam Edelman. Oh, you can't hardly see it. Uh, but 
Definitely they were pr in pretty good shape. These were from the Thread Up box also, I think. They blend together at this point, all the shoes we've gotten. We're about uh, to open 25 more pairs. I know. But $18 sale, I think it was an offer to Likers. Um, if you get those cheap enough, I'd probably buy them again. We got home, and Tara thought that um, one of the packages on our porch was, like, packing materials because we get we get packages like that a lot. USPS priority yeah. materials. And I said, but those are the shoes. And she looked, and she got so excited, like, Hey. You're like, yes, it's the shoes. It was so, the, well, they had predicted on the estimated delivery was Friday. So I was planning, was we're going to so do a video Friday. Then I looked the again and it said Saturday. It's the shoes. And that's no fun. And then it came early. So it was it was just a big surprise. I wasn't expecting it. She got the, the cat's shoes. on the table. And right here. Come here, Beasley. <laughs> So that is all that sold in those two weeks. I can tell you my profit because I talked about it in the last video. So this was after all the fees. It was about $730 profit. So that's after two weeks. discounts and the 20% Poshmark fee for two weeks. Yeah, it's so like we usually give the number before the fees. So it'd probably wow. be... Like eight hundred fifty or something. We'll we'll still kind of slow. We'll figure out. It's not bad. Slow. But I've already had like five sales this past couple days. Maybe more. Maybe seven. So that is everything that sold. I hope that was helpful to to you sellers out there. And leave us any comments you have. Subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff that we do. And if not, thanks for trying. Trying what? Trying watching? watching us. If they didn't like they didn't us, they better not far. be at this yeah, they, point. Nobody's made it this but, far. But so thank you, point, if you if you did watch, and we'll see you again soon. All right. Cheers. Cheers.